I have to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. It's not like my expectations were really high or anything, but the new RDNA 2 refresh AMD just announced today literally checks every single box on the how not to do it list. Let's talk about it. So AMD is releasing three new graphics cards, the RX 6650 XT, 6750 XT and 6950 XT. Basically every single RDNA 2 chip, Navi 23, 22 and 21 got a top tier update. Before we get into the nitty gritty of why these GPUs are a disappointment in my opinion, let's take a quick look at the specs. All three new cards are still based on the same chips, produced in the same 7 nanometer process at TSMC. No 6 nanometer update or any changes on the die level. AMD just raised the clock speeds on all three cards a little bit, and I really mean only a little bit. If we take a look at the boost clocks, the 6950 XT gets a 60 MHz bump, the 6750 XT goes crazy with 19 MHz more, yes 19 and not 90, and the 6650 XT has a whopping 46 MHz higher boost clock. But to be fair, the increased GPU clock speeds are not the focus here. Any actual performance gains are most likely due to the increased memory speed. At launch, the original cards all used 16 GB per second GDDR6 memory, now the refresh cards are using faster 18 GB per second modules, although the 6650 ST has that locked to 17.5. With the increasing memory speed, we get a decent boost in overall memory bandwidth. The only question is how much more performance these new cards can gain that way since the Infinity Cache that got introduced with RDNA 2 was specifically designed to reduce the impact of memory speeds on the card's performance. So AMD is raising the memory clocks on an architecture they specifically designed to be less dependent on the speed of memory. Kinda odd if you ask me. At least on the 6950 XT they also increased the infinity cache bandwidth a little bit. Now that you know how AMD is trying to increase the performance of these new cards, the increase in GPU and memory clocks do not come for free. AMD is raising the TDP on all three cards. The 6650 XT and 6750 XT use 20 watts more, while the 6950 XT gets a 35 watt bump, which is over 10% more than the original 6900 XT. If the AMD would have released an actual refresh, let's say on TSMC 6 nanometer process, the frequency increase of GPU and memory might have been possible without raising the TDP. But since these are the same GPU dies, higher clock speeds result in more power draw. Now you might think a little bit more performance for a little bit more power to draw, that's not that bad. Well, we haven't talked about the price yet. Because you guessed it, AMD is also raising the MSRP. The 6600 XT launched at $379 back in the day. The 6650 XT sits at $399. The $479 6700 XT is replaced by the $549 6750 XT and the 6950 XT is $100 more expensive at $1099. That's a 5% increase for the 6650 XT, a huge 15% increase for the 6750 XT and a 10% increase for the 6950 XT. Of course, actual street pricing can be vastly different in today's market, but for the past few weeks, more and more cards have dipped towards their initial MSRP, and even at AMD's own store, the reference card could be bought hours and sometimes even days after the last drop. So this refresh with a hefty price increase comes at a time where street pricing is beginning to normalize again. I spent some time today watching and reading the usual reviews from Hardware Unboxed, Gamers Nexus and Computer Base. And overall results show that these new cards are in the ballpark of 5% faster than their older models. I'm not going to show the benchmarks results of all these reviews on my channel on the first day of release. Go check them out yourself if you're interested in the details. Now that we got all the info, I think you can already see why this refresh is not something anyone needed or even wanted. We get three new cards that are on average maybe 5% faster, which in my opinion is close to negligible. And at the same time, these new GPUs drop between 9-12% to more power and have their MSRP raised by 5-15%. to They are clearly a worse deal. You get a less efficient card with a even poorer performance to price ratio and at the same time the performance increase is barely noticeable. So why would AMD release such a horrible refresh? I think the answer is quite obvious. First of all, they are trying to get a bigger piece of the pie with the increase in MSRP. They noticed most of their cards were selling well above their initial MSRP, but the vendors get to keep all the difference. By raising the official MSRP on these new cards, AMD will pocket the difference. 
And then there's also the possibility that AMD is raising the pricing structure in order to prepare for a Arden A3 launch later in this year. If reviewers would compare a $479 6700 XT to a, let's say, $599 7700 XT, even if the new card is a lot more powerful, people would be upset about the steep price increase. But if the comparison is a $549 6750 XT, it doesn't look as bad. AMD is just trying to disappoint us more gently by doing it in steps. Of course, this is just speculation on my side, but AMD has a lot of very smart people working for them. They know that these new refresh cards are a step down. The only reason these new cards exist is to increase AMD's margin and create a new pricing structure. On a more positive note, AMD announced that their DLSS competitor, FSR 2.0, is releasing in just two days time, on May 12th. I'm actually looking forward to the first reviews, especially how it compares to Nvidia's approach. I honestly hope this video would turn out more positive, but AMD pulled a fast one on us. There is no way to sugarcoat it. At the same time, if you can get these new cards at a reasonable price, they aren't bad products. But I wouldn't pay a premium over the original versions. Only the 6600 XT will be replaced by the 6650 XT. Both the 6700 XT and 6900 XT will continue to be sold. Especially the price increase for the 6750 XT is massive. The $549 MSRP is only $30 less than the MSRP of the RX 6800, which is still quite a bit faster, has more memory, and is based on the larger Navi 21 chip. At the same TDB. I would like to know your honest opinion about this refresh. Are you as disappointed as I am or did you maybe expect this move by AMD taking advantage of the current market? Leave a comment down below and let me know. As always if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it really helps out the channel. Subscribe for more content and see you in the next video.